so I have this skin radial which is different from the tutorial I previously had on my YouTube channel. Um, that one uses material swaps, this one does not. The material swap one only gives you about three options, while this one you can basically choose anything. So I like this way a lot more. Um, you get like a full range and it's a lot more optimized. So how I set this up is basically my materials, I have my main body material. Um, so this is the main texture. Uh, what I found to be the issue with this is when I had only... So the way I set it up, I used decals. Um, but the issue with only having, like, say I didn't have that middle one there, um, was this was not saturated enough. And if I didn't have that, it looked, like, ashy in the middle. That's not what I'm going for. That's not the look I want. That is not... I want to properly represent people. I want... I want everything to look good. So I have this middle decal, which is more orange toned and it's more saturated. So as this goes up, the skin gets more saturated. So this is like my middle tone. Um, I also have these set to multiply because it'll basically overlay the base texture. Um, so I have this middle tone and how I record that animation, say I, I'm gonna create a, I'm gonna make this real quick. So how I record this is basically I go to my body and I have this um, and I have this. So say this is my tan animation. I'm just going to have this set to zero. I'm just going to have this decal set to zero, this decal set to zero. Um, or no, this is my pale animation. So basically you're going to want these two to be zero and then you would just copy and paste the frames and then let's do a tan and that would be this middle one set to 100 and so now this is my middle like this is my middle animation and then i'm going to copy and paste this actually you usually want to include this so it goes back down so you're going to want to have both of these. So you're going to have want to have this set to 1 and this set to 0. Um, and then I'm going to do my dark. So this is going to be my final animation. Um, I'm going to have this set to 1. And then I'm also going to set this one to 1. So that's going to like overlay. And you can animate pretty much anything in Poyomi. So I don't like how this rim lighting looks at all. Like on the darker skin tones, I don't like how it like gets brighter on there. So what I did was I went down to rim lighting and I turned it down. And it will animate like that. So, okay, there's my three animations. So now I can go to my animator. Um, yep, so this is gonna be nothing. This is just my test, so you're gonna have a lot more stuff in here. This is just my test. Um, so I'm gonna make a float, and then I'm gonna name it skin. And then I'm gonna go to layers, name it my skin, set the weight to one. So now I'm going to right click, create state, from new blend tree, turn off right defaults. You never want right defaults on because it breaks things if you mix and match and a lot of people like to add stuff to their avatars and if you have mixed, if you have mixed right defaults on and off, it's it's not a good time. So here's my blend tree. I'm inside the blend tree. Uh, you can double click this, go inside the blend tree. You can't actually drag anything here. It won't let you. So it's different from setting up your normal um, toggles. So one thing to know is this parameter up here. Um, when you're working on a normal FX layer, you're going to have your gesture left weight, your gesture left, gesture right. You're going to have those. And it will most likely default to gesture left weight. Just drop this down and change it to skin. You're just going to want to drop it down, change it. If you ever have hue shifts, you're going to want to drop it down, change it to gear, hue shift. Um, just like any float parameter, you're going to want to drop this down and change it. So this is where you actually add the animations. So you're going to want to create three motion fields and my pale, my tan, and my dark. So if I actually go here and drop in my prefab, I can test this here. So I'm going to bring this up and I can test it. See, I didn't actually record the hands because it's a separate mesh because of the pause, but um, if your hands and your body are on the same mesh, then it'll it'll go together. But just ignoring that for now. Um, yeah, 
it'll do this. You can test it like that. Um, and then you can test it in the emulator, which I have here, which is um, on Liuma's GitHub. If you look up Liuma 3.0 emulator, you can find it. But that is how you set that up.